This is Jupiter Today for the 4th of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. EO begins the day in quadrant 3, heading west. Europa starts the day transiting and is going to be moving into quadrant 3, heading west. Ganymede is in quadrant 3, heading west for a little while longer. You can see it's getting to its western elongation. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant 1, heading east. That's 6 hours UTC. EO is near its western elongation and will be moving into quadrant 4, heading east. Europa is now firmly in quadrant 3, heading west. And Ganymede has now passed its western elongation and will be in quadrant 4, heading east the rest of the day. 12 hours UTC. EO is firmly in quadrant 4, heading east. At 1438 UTC, EO goes through its apogee at a distance of 423,535.2 kilometers. At 1800 hours UTC, EO is moving behind Jupiter and going into quadrant 1, heading east. And by 0 hours UTC tomorrow, EO is firmly in quadrant 1, heading east. Europa has gone past its western elongation and is now in quadrant 4, heading west. Orbital ribbons. So these are the same orbits that you just saw. EO and Europa and Ganymede and Callisto. And I've just connected the same times of each of the moons to one another. And that gives a little interesting shapes here that to me look like twisted ribbons. So there's the connection between EO and Europa. There's EO and Ganymede. EO and Callisto. And then Europa and Ganymede. Europa and Callisto. And finally Ganymede and Callisto. And then I combine them all and colorize them a little bit to make for an interesting pattern and an interesting shape. There are four Jupiter Moon events today. First is at 118 when the shadow of Europa egresses. And at 126 UTC the transit of Europa across Jupiter ends. At 1643 UTC EO moves into the shadow of Jupiter. And at 1905 EO reappears from behind Jupiter. There are two satellite mutual events today. The first goes from 844 to 852 UTC when Europa eclipses EO. It's an 8.5 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0 0.606. EO is a nice healthy 107.43 arc seconds from Jupiter, but because of the phase angle, the, the very shallow phase angle, that we now see at Jupiter. The distance between Europa and EO is only 0.65 arc seconds. So under normal circumstances they would appear to be the same. And on the Google Earth map this point here is the location on the Earth where Jupiter is at the zenith at the time of this event. And so this shows the visibility of this event. And Looks like all of North America will see it, some of South America, a lot of the Pacific, including Hawaii, will be able to see this event. And the next event comes as no surprise, just a few minutes later, at 851 to 858 UTC, when Europa occults EO, and that's a 7 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.351 magnitudes. 
And these two moons are 107 arc seconds from Jupiter. This is a nice photographic or photometric event. The phase angle, as I said, is so close that in actuality the eclipse and the occult um, overlap one another by about a minute. And the visibility here is more or less the same as it was with the previous event, just being a few minutes apart. All of North America, some of South America, most of the Pacific, Hawaii. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. Standing on the equator of Jupiter, looking out, seeing what's happening over the next 24 hours. It looks like Io is going to be moving in front of Ganymede here. These occultations must be fantastic to actually witness, but nobody is there to see them. Maybe someday. Jupiter rotates a couple of times in a 24-hour period. The red spot crosses the meridian twice today. First at 53 minutes after zero hours UTC, the second at 10.49, and the third at 20.45 UTC. There were some new images posted. And there was some new radio data taken on the 2nd of February at the UT time shown. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, 22 minutes, seven seconds, and a declination of positive 16 degrees, 24 minutes, 45 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 176.691 degrees, and that's 1.11 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The phase angle, which is the angle between Earth and the Sun, as seen from Jupiter, is 0 0.609 degrees, and that's 0 0.205 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The distance between Earth and Jupiter continues to get less and less as we move towards opposition in now just a couple of days on the 6th of February. Today's distance is 650,306,996 kilometers, and that's 132,006 kilometers less than what it was yesterday. And that gives a relative velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 5,500.25 kilometers per hour. And that's 1,965.63 kilometers per hour less than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 797,562,024 kilometers. And that's 46,465 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a relative velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,936.04 kilometers per hour moving away from one another. 
and that is exactly the same velocity as it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1 30.03 degrees, CM2 66.09 degrees, CM3 333.89 degrees. The time of this recording is 2348 UTC on the 3rd of February 2015. So please subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions, you can send them and your images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.